Hello guys, Captain Alex Mason here, and you know what, I'm going to do this real quick in the morning because I want to go to school, and um, so I got the recent issue of Game Informer magazine, and this is what showed up. Now I'm going to, I'm going to read this whole page, and um, this spot here. I really hate using it. Okay. Because it's all about Chinese consoles and stuff. So, home to 1.3 billion people and a video game market estimated at $14 million, billion dollars annually, China has the potential to completely remake the game industry. It's already where most of our consumer electronics are manufactured and many of the large publishers have developed branches in China, including Ubisoft and Electronic Arts. China is a huge market, but one that presents a number of challenges. Censorship, red tape, and restrictions imposed by the government make it a hard market to navigate, particularly sensitive um, are any games that paint China in a negative military context or as enemies. Something that got Battlefield 4 banned, China's Ministry of Culture also takes a firm stance against depiction of organized crime, banning Grand Theft Auto, Mafia, and other similar titles. As a result, many Western publishers partner with Chinese companies like the online gaming giant Tencent, which itself owns significant interests in Western developers, Riot Games, and Epic Games, for the Western games that do make the leap to China. They often have to be tailored to the Chinese tastes and the economic realities of the market, which is dominated by PC and free-to-play business models. Still, in most important ways, Chinese gamers aren't that different than their Western counterparts. They want quality games and great experiences. They just have to be delivered in a different form. So, if you guys don't understand why I'm reading this, it's because, well back in the day, China used to actually have a game, a console ban in their country where you were not allowed to play on consoles like Wii, Xbox 360, PS3, you weren't allowed to play anything. The only thing you were allowed to play was the computer. And that made it hard for some players in China because they couldn't play most of the games that we like playing, especially Call of Duty or Battlefield. Um, and that's where I'm reading this Call of Duty Online subject. Eyeing the success of China's highly popular but not terribly impressive online shooter Crossfire, Activision has finally brought Call of Duty to the country in the form of Call of Duty Online. The game was developed by Activision Shanghai and Raven Software and is published in China by Tencent. Essentially, Call of Duty Online is a free-to-play, microtransaction-oriented greatest hits of the series. It takes elements from many past games including maps from Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, the original Black Ops, and others. It has a mix of perks from Modern Warfare 3 and an original Black Ops and the original Black Ops, a robotic zombie mode called Cyborg Rising and survival mode from Modern Warfare 3. It is also a new single player campaign featuring favorite characters like John Price and John Soap McTavish. It's basically a prequel to Modern Warfare 3 as well, and Modern Warfare 2, actually. And then another little topic was that bottom part right here. I'm trying to show that this camera's not easy to work with. Looks like a Nintendo Wii. That's another thing they had problem. China's pirate consoles. China is, hot, is the hotbed of piracy, and in every form of media, particularly movies and games, government restrictions aside piracy concerns have been the biggest barrier to Western consoles entering the market. I'm doing a load of some of your jeans and the stuff that you wore to work the other day. Can you give me some more jeans and some dark colored t-shirts? Yeah, right I can do now, that. Because it's filling. All right. One sec. You said jeans?
come back. So what there was was um however that hasn't totally stopped the pirates. In fact, bootleg game consoles have been manufactured and sold in China, marketed under names like the Poly Station 3 and China Nintendo V. Nintendo beat the pirates to the punch, getting around free trade restrictions by licensing is its handled its handheld software to a Chinese company named IQ, which has sold altered versions of Nintendo systems like the Game Boy Advance and 3DS under its own brand in China. Which is one of the reasons why they had the console ban because of pirated games, games that weren't meant to be played for certain consoles. And they had a gray and black market for games there, so China decided, well, let's ban it then. And that's what they did. So, um,. I guess what I'm getting to is, is that I'm really hoping they finish up. Like, um... I can't think of it. Oh. What I, I guess what I'm basically talking about is I'm trying to um, figure out when their Raven Software, which is a development developer company that made this game and many of the others starting with Call of Duty Black Ops um, develop it and they're also in my state so um, <clears throat> I really hope that they finish it soon like because the campaign is not complete the game itself is not done and the game's been released since what 2013 or that's when the trailers started showing up um, they've obviously hit like eight different missions, and I think it's safe to say that they're going to at least have approximately fifteen, fifteen or ten. I mean, that's the average number for um, missions. So they haven't quite hit that far yet, but I'm I'm really hoping they do. I also hope that in the next update that they get, they actually have like a setting you can choose whether you want the English dialogue or the Chinese dialogue or at least let us have the ability to change the Chinese subtitles to English subtitles if they're not going to change the voices like actually have that as an option you know like when you have options like oh do you want to have subtitles on it? Yes. And they can say what kind of subtitles? English or Chinese? English. Um, and I know that Call of Duty Online was intentionally meant for Chinese players. Fortunately for us, they have now lifted the console ban, so they can have consoles, but they still can't have several certain games like Grand Theft Auto or any games that involve China looking bad militarily, which kind of leaves me with an interesting question. Wouldn't that also consider Black Ops 2 being banned? Because you do have to fight the Chinese but they're known as the Strategic Defense Coalition, so... Yeah. But yeah. Um, so that's, that's all I have to say for today. Um, I also need to tell you guys that I'm going to be taking like another uh, break uh, because of um, what's going on with uh, me right now. Um, and uh, all that stuff. I gotta manage my uh, work time and catch up with a lot of stuff, so I won't be. I'm not saying I won't be playing, I just won't be playing a whole lot. So, okay, I'm Alex Mason. I'll see you guys later.